Hello guys, welcome to Jim Will Shave. Got a new razor in to show you. This is, no, I don't know why we do this because you can see from the thumbnail. Okay, so this is the Alpha Shave and Works Outlaw. <coughs> Third generation Outlaw, version three. <coughs> this is the Outlaw Evolution 316 stainless steel. Just about 100 millimeters long from uh, head to toe. This is the Bravo handle. There's three handles available. This is the Bravo handle. I have these uh, handles on my other two outlaws, incidentally. <clears throat> 12 uh, millimeter diameter. Oh, then. <clears throat> I'm just going to hold this up against the original uh, outlaw and straight away. Can you get that? You see the difference in the head? The evolution on my left, the uh, support and posts inside the head are much wider. So there's less gap between the support and post inside to the actual edge of the safety bar. Whereas in this razor, it's quite a significant, significant, significant space. See, there's a lot less space here. Post, that means there's more of the blade clamped down. The blade's gonna be more secure. One of the problems with the uh, original Outlaw was a lot of people complained of chatter my uh, blade vibration, blade not being clamped down really, really tight. Well, that issue's gonna be resolved with the uh, Outlaw Evolution. This one was from Executive Shaving, and this one is from Alpha Shaving Works. I'll just get that around so you can see it properly on the handle there. See the etching, Alpha Shaving Works. And also, just screw the handle here also on the base of the head if i get it right around the right way highly polished stainless steel as you can see i've got smudgy finger marks on it just handling it just got some facts here i'm going to read to you about uh, the evolution the outlaw evolution i feel rough today guys where a right pain right on the bottom left hand side of my abdomen and it's uh, agony okay Right, the blade gap is 0.7 millimeters. Exposure is neutral to slight positive, depending on the blades used. Right, so if you use a Kai, it's gonna be more positive. Three awesome handle options, Bravo, Braveheart, and the Viper. Viper 95, I think that's a centimeter longer than this handle. Right, it's re-engineered safety bar, get off. Don't you hate it when you're reading through things? <clears throat> Re-engineered safety bar. There's over 300% more blade clamped area. 6% wider top cap. Uh, less rounded angle all round, resulting in a modern look for 2023. And 6% less weight. There we go. The safety bar, I should have pointed it out when I had the other up next to it. We see the safety bars, the difference between the safety bars. This one on the original Outlaw, the uh, scalloping runs diagonal, whereas on the Evolution, the new one, the scalloping is straight down. Straight down. You can buy bullet stands for these also in copper, which, which look nice, but I've, I've got two. And uh, I don't really go on for buying razor stands anymore. I don't see the point. So many razors. Okay, Steve also sent me uh, from that Alpha Shaving Works, Steve Tinter. He also sent me this lovely brush, which was unexpected of him. Thank you very much, Steve. Solid bus, bus, bus. I work on a bus. Solid brush. Tons of backbone in that knot. Tremendous amount of back, back, backbone. It's a lovely looking brush, but the tip's very, very soft. Very nice indeed. Just going to pop that into the water. And blade. Oh, sorry, sorry. There is the base of the top cap, engineered. See the engineer marks there, the two of the marks. And there's the underside of the top cap. Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, Gillette Gold. Because this is a fantastic blade. I've been trying to source these Gillette Golds, but uh, I'm not having any success. Not in the UK anyway. So if anybody knows anything about them, Please let me know, but uh, I've tried everywhere online. And it seems to be a, a no-go here in the UK. 
Okay. I will be doing a comparison shave probably in the next video between the new Evolution and the original uh, Outlaw. And straight away, there's loads less blade show than there is with the uh, original Outlaw there. And there's the profile. So uh, let's get into business. As it's on hand, and this brushes are going to be ideal for hard soaps, I'm going to use my gentleman's groom room Highland Buffy because I really feel like something nice and smoky today. There it is, peaty and smoky. I'm loving it. I'm loving using it actually. It's uh, it's just become one of my favourites. So specs off. And uh, push out the water, shake off the excess. So they're not nicely wetted. Yeah, great amount of backbone, and it's not. This island buffy man, this this these uh, soaps from uh, Gentleman's Groom Room up in Dundee, tremendous. Tremendous lovers made in the Shetland Islands. So I'm just going to uh, grow that. <laughs> just going to spray some water on the face, something which I did forget to do whilst I was going through my ramblings. I should have done that first thing, shouldn't I? Yes, you should have. You plank. Okay. Set that aside there. I'm just going to use this like a pre shave. Left my t shirt on today, so I feel really ropey. I was uh, just got back from a very long weekend job. I was going to shave, do a video on uh, Saturday night in the London area, but uh, I just couldn't be bothered. I was really tired. And uh, be not in the right frame of mind for doing a video. Don't do one because it'll be crap. What do you mean the other? Also got this from Steve. Sent me this, the uh, Alpha Shave Rex towel. Very nice. Thank you, Steve. Pity's going to end up pink and red. <laughs> right. <coughs> Incidentally, the uh, retail price of this razor. If you get this direct from Steve Tinter, it's uh, bound and 25 US, which equates to around about 98, 99 pound UK sterling. That's shipped, delivered with uh, FedEx. Yeah, it came with FedEx. So that's shipped. So, uh, and it only took a few days. So, uh, can't find anything. Yeah. So, order it direct from Steve. No tax, no import tax. Comes from Hong Kong. Now I know why I don't use wear a t-shirt when I'm shaving, because uh, the amount of mess I make. It's my shaving t-shirt. <laughs> Cracking, cracking sense. Just been going through my soaps in my mind, thinking what ones I'm going to keep, what ones I'm going to ship out, and it's uh, <laughs> it's tricky. God, these pains in my guts are killing me. Hope it's not as serious. You might be witness to me <laughs> keeling over. <laughs> Okay, can't wait to try this baby out. So the Alpha Shaving Works Al uh, Outlaw Evolution 316 Stainless Steel. Let's get going. It's nice. 
Blade feels sealed, sealed similar, feels similar. To the original outlaw. Which I shaved of not long ago at all. A few videos back. So it is still quite fresh in my mind. Blade fully enclosed. No chance of a uh, ripping the nostrils or slicing your ears off with end of blade tabs. Nice, very nice. So it comes in weight wise around about a 200 gram mark. That's do most stainless steel razors these days. With a few exceptions of course. And of course if you get the longer handle It's going to be slightly heavier. I'm taking my time here. Don't want to muck things up with this nice new razor. Now, of course, when I uh, do the comparison, ooh, that's good. When I do the comparison between this and the uh, version one, they both have the same brand of blading, both on first use. I always like to. Uh, Trying out a new razor, I always go for the uh, a favourite blade. It's no good to put too many uh, what's the word? New things together. Right, use a a new razor. Try and use a familiar soap that you're very familiar with. Familiar blade. So you get a feel, so you can actually judge the razor properly. Highland boy. Highland boy, a buffy. It's like a hiker's hut actually, it's out in the wilds or up on country estates, you get them in Northumberland, Wales, I believe Cornwall, mainly in the highlands of Scotland, hence Highland Boffy. And it's a very, very basic accommodation, free of charge. Where I put that razor? No electric, no running water, no toilets, you have to go outside and bury it in a hole. If you get caught short, and you have to light your own fire. Now as there's lots of peat, bogs and stuff like that up in the highlands, if you're staying in Highland Buffy, the chances are you would use peat to fuel your uh, man made fire. And this soap annulates the smell of a peat fire. So it's nice and smoky and peaty. Probably not everybody's cup of tea, but what is? Lovely, lovely, lovely.
Yeah, so more days off until uh, the weekend. Of course, it's been uh, very quiet in the tourist industry this time of year. So I'm not knocking it. I'm, uh, I'm appreciating the downtime. Before the work scene turns manic again. Now we get some lads who complain saying, oh, I'm not busy enough, blah, 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 blah. Are you mental? <laughs> we still get paid regardless. So, uh, relax, chill. Yeah, perfect. What's this for? Uh, hard soaps. That doesn't mean you can't use it for soft creams. That'd be silly. Of course you can. Well, I just enjoy the scent. There we have it. Pass number three. The main pass. Will things go tits up on this pass? <laughs> now going against the screen definitely feels safer than the version one. This is it guys, the ghosty. I don't want any bleeders, it's going to be around here. Any weepers, rather? That's where you usually get them. Okay. And that's sailed very easily against the nose. Definitely not as much audio as it is from the version one and two. Just a little bit of Velcro here. Lovely. Yeah, so I know I have versions one, two, and three. So I think. I don't need three, do I? I don't collect razors, but come on. <laughs> Three's a bit silly, so I think at some time in the future I might be doing a, a giveaway with the version two. So uh, keep your eyes open for that one. Got a cracker jaw on her neck. Feels good to me. Okay. Down for me cold drinks, fellas. Now, uh, I was the very first YouTuber to have uh, used the Outlaw on YouTube. And 
I was left with loads of blood spots and uh, as you can see not one blood spot off the uh, version 3 and coming from me that's uh, that's quite an achievement <laughs> tremendous shave tremendous 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 I was determined not to get any blood spots because uh, I want to keep this towel nice and wise look at it it's lovely isn't it it's nice and soft nice soft towel it's the first time I've ever had an actual proper shaving towel as it were but uh, yeah we have it the Alpha shaving towel now I know there was somebody else that recently ordered the uh, Outlaw Revolution and he posted a picture on uh, one of the YouTube forums with this towel so I'm uh, assuming Steve does send one out with uh, every razor don't quote me on that but uh, it's great tremendous tremendous result it really is okay don't have any splash for the uh, Highland Buffy that's not uh, so I'm using this stuff not just a while it's from Oaken Labs I do have the soap also Oaken Labs Earth of Mankind it's uh, witch hazel and arrow based splash uh, it's very very smoky indeed uh, Earth of Mankind it's in, the, it's, in the, it's in the name isn't it Earth of Mankind not the same type of smoky as the Island Buffy because I don't think I'll match that but if this is more of a smoky with uh, hints of clove it's nice it takes ages to shake it all up the uh... oh man smell that this is even better than uh, it, yeah, I remember it this uh, splash I haven't used the soap for a long time actually enough to uh, put that right it might be one of the sets I'm uh, shipping off. We never know. We never know. That was very nice. Very good. So there you go. It's the uh, Alpha Shaving Works. <sighs> Mixing up my word. Alpha Shaving Works Outlaw. Version 3. Otherwise known as the Evolution. 316 stainless steel. It's about $125 US and about £99 UK shipped all the way from Hong Kong excellent stuff the uh, as you can see I've not got a single weeper or a creeper not even on their neck nowhere so it's done a tremendous job skin feels great BBS all over can't ask for more uh, a quick one uh, from the first shave, from the first experience, would I say that this is better than version one? I do, I would, I am, yeah, I am. This definitely feels better than the version one when I first shaved with that, because uh, no blood for the start. But uh, so I will be doing the comparison between the version one and the version three. So uh, keep an eye out for that if you're interested in this razor or any of the previous outlaws come to that. So I'll just do a quick recap. If I can remember the name right. <laughs> Alpha Shaving Works. Outlaw. Evolution. Tremendous razor. If you've got any doubts, you're thinking about it, I'd put some of those doubts right to the back of your head because uh, you won't go far wrong with this baby. Uh, the soap was one of my recent new favourites. The Gentleman's Groom Room from Dundee. Highland Buffy. Brush for today. This was one that was sent with the razor, kindly sent by Steve. The Alpha Shaving Works. I'm not too sure of the name of the knot. I've uh, reached out to Steve to ask what the name of the knot is, so hopefully I'll find out what it is soon. But it's a synthetic, of course. I was finished off with the o o Oaken Labs After Shave Splash. I'm pleased to report that my tummy does feel slightly better now, slightly better. So, just in case you're concerned. Okay, guys, I know you weren't really. Okay, thanks all very much for watching. Thanks for being here. It's been great. I love showing off new raids, trying to get new uh, kits in the uh, den. So, uh, always keep your eyes open because uh, you never know when we turn up with some new stuff again. 
Okay, guys, thanks for all the likes, comments, subscriptions, new subscription, subscribers, old subscribers, people who are just for you. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys, stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the week, and I'll catch you further down the line. Bye now.